Hello everyone, welcome back to ADK Learning Channel. Please do subscribe to get more updates on cloud and DevOps technologies. In this video, I'll show you how to set up Visual Studio Code IDE in your local environment. Let me navigate to Google to download the Visual Studio Code IDE for the Windows system. Download Visual Studio Code. Let me navigate to the official web portal. Let me download the VS Code for Windows compatibility. Well, I could see that the VS Code is getting downloaded. Let me wait for the exe is gets downloaded and then we'll continue installing the VS Code. As you go back to the screen, we can even download the zip archive where you can just extract the vs code and get start with without you actually doing the system installation it's up to you which method that you wanted to follow to set up the vs code well i can see that the vs code exe file is downloaded to my local system now let's start executing this let me accept the license agreement let it be the default folder where the VS code will be installed. Let it be all or defaults. Let me install the VS code. Well, now I can see that the VS code installation is completed. Let me launch the VS code by clicking on finish. Well, this is the default landing place when so the VS code is open and in the left side navigation panel, we can see the explorer tab that is where you can open the folder where you wanted to get start with the development let me click on open folder to open the folder from your local system let me navigate to the the folder where i wanted to keep my development files let's say i will use edwiki trainings let me create a, a folder here and now let's start using this folder as a base folder where i wanted to set up my code files in the left side small panel you should be able to see the files that you are creating in the folder let me trust this author for now right that is where you can start creating a files let's say i wanted to use this vs code to write a terraform code we can simply create a file with a dot tf let's say i wanted to create a ec2 instance using the terraform i'm just simply creating a file with a dot tf extension right the vs code has automatically identified that the dot tf extension is a terraform that's how the syntax will be auto detected and the right side you can see the editor panel that is where you exactly write a terraform code and start doing the development so like that uh, whichever the programming language that you wanted to use to do the development you need to create a file accordingly with the proper extension the vs code can identify the syntax automatically let's say i'm going to create a aml file and you can see that the vs code has identified the AML syntax automatically. If for any reason, if the VS Code is not able to identify this extension, you need to go to the extension tab and search for the extension and install the extension. Let's say I'm searching for the Terraform extension. Search for the Terraform extension and install the Terraform from the official portals. Let's say here I'm installing the Terraform extension, which is provided by the HashiCorp. Like that, we can install any extension that would be required to have a auto detect and give the suggestion on your source code development. Well, so let me go back to the Explorer tab. Right. The good thing is in the VS Code, it is even possible to create a terminal here itself and start running the commands to build or to 
compile or you process your source code that is being developed in the editor panel by default here you can see the the powershell terminal and however we can choose any terminal that you like it from the drop down here we can see that the git bash terminal is also available to use just click on git bash to use the git bash terminal within the vs code itself that is where you can run the git commands as well within the vs code in order to work with the version control systems to work with the pull and push to your bitbucket repositories here i am just showing how to set up the vs code from the scratch on your new system let's say if you wanted to do the terraform development and wanted to run the terraform deployment then the terraform binary should be downloaded and set up in your cli as of now the terraform is not available let's download and install the terraform on your local system first so let's say terraform download for my windows system let me go to hashicorp official web portal to download the terraform binary for my windows compatibility and let me click on download here by default the terraform is downloaded as a zip archive that you can see here let me open the folder where the terraform binary is downloaded so let me copy this binary let me go to the location where i wanted to keep my terraform binary let's say i'll go to the d drive and i will create a let's say edwiki trainings here i'm going to create a folder called soft that is where i wanted to keep all of my softwares and i'm keeping my terraform binary over there and let me extract the files here and once the extraction is completed i can just uh, remove the uh, terraform binary so the terraform binary is actually extracted it into the folder i can copy the absolute path where the terraform binary is extracted and then i need to update this this in the path environment variable to invoke this terraform command from the command line interface as terraform is not installed to set the path automatically as the terraform is downloaded as a archive and we are extracting the terraform here right we need to set up the path environment variable manually to get to know the actual absolute path where the terraform binary is located let me copy the path where the terraform binary is extracted let me go to the properties let me click on advanced system settings let me click on environment variable select path environment variable click on edit click on edit and specify the value at end of the existing path or i would say i can even create a new path and specify the path over there and click on ok now click on ok click on ok close this settings now let me go back to the bash prompt and let me run terraform command we can see that the terraform is not still available when you set up the terraform path in the path environment variable you need to log out and log in back to make the changes reflective let me try to log out and log in back to this uh, system so that uh, i'll run this command once again well now i could see that the terraform command is working successfully after the re-login to the system good so now my vs code is fully ready to run the terraform commands and the git commands as well so now let me install the teragrunt as well because i'm going to use the teragrunt wrapper on top of the terraform to have the environment specific deployments 
let me go ahead and download the teragrant binary here well let me search for teragrant download and set up let me follow the link from the official web portal from gridworks.io let me scroll down we can see that uh, we can install the teragrant on the windows systems using a chocolatey let me copy the command and let me run this command from the powershell i'll go to the search and let me search for powershell let me open the powershell as administrator now let me run the choco command well it says that the teragrant installation is successful let me run the command teragrant hyphen hyphen version all right now i have the teragrant available in my system let me close this chocolatey i'm going to see the powershell if for any reason if the chocolatey command is not available in your system first you need to install the chocolatey so you can just refer through chocolatey installation on your windows systems and navigate to the chocolatey documentation page and follow the steps to install the chocolatey in your system if it is not found by default great now let me run the same in visual studio code itself i have the terminal open here let me run teragrant hyphen hyphen version all right now the visual studio code setup is completely done now how the terraform teragrant git softwares are available and can run all of these from the terminal within the visual studio code itself thank you for your time